Tough was it? Huh? <laughs> Did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. Chumash, you're driving. Remember, terror does not take coffee breaks. <sighs> what a dick. <laughs> So how are Steve and Trevor getting along? Seems like a productive relationship. You know, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of it. Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest and we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job, no casualties. There were more eyes on that town than there needed to be. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much your as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually... He thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad, who he thinks is locked up in high security and not, well, not six feet under in a grave marked Michael Townley. The trainees write them. It's a good exercise. Yeah, the fuck. How'd that get started? A few years ago, a letter came to the federal prison system addressed to Brad. It wasn't signed, but it gave a P.O. box in Sandy Shores. I played the part of Brad, and we started a correspondence. Yeah, thanks for telling me, Davey. I was doing you a favor. Didn't think you'd want to know he was in the same state. Yeah, so now what? I just sit back and hope he doesn't... I just sit back and hope he doesn't figure it out? It's worked so far. He's a time bomb, Dave. Oh my God. And you fucking know it. This'll do. All right. Find out who we're looking for. Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. No, no, please. I tell what? you what Loosen you him up. No, no, please. The nation demands it. Come on. Sparky, Sparky. Not the clips. Not the clip! No, no! My heart! Don't do it! Or you will kill me! I will die! No! No clips! Please! <laughs> Don't do it! 
What does he look like? I was built. I was height, middle age. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like you're stalling. This better be enough. Middle age, middle height, middle build, whatever. He's dark. Okay, he's Azerbaijani, for God's sakes. Look around. That enough for you? You're my eyes, Townley. What do you see? I see a couple guys that are way too old and too fat to be doing a political assassination. We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? What the fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani, for all I know. What's one look like? They look Eastern. Half this town looks Eastern, Davy. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. That ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, shit. I, let me think. I remember. Oh, Sorry, too no. late. Trevor, show our contestant what he's won today. I remember. Oh, okay. remember. I remember. Woo! Give him his prize. It ain't even the biggest tool in the room. What? Oh, 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 oh. Isn't this a small one? It's going to hurt! Not crazy! So what have you got for us? Hmm? We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, 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 Got any beardy types at this party? Huh? Because that's all Mr. K's given us. Uh, no! You know, I'm thinking maybe we ought to just take two bullets and put them in our foreman no. and just call an airstrike on Chumash Beach. I need eyes on that party. Pick up the scope and give me a report. Who am I looking for? Steve saying beard. What do you got? Anything specific or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Now, well, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Jumash. Land of beach hipsters. We need more. It's gonna be a long day until you give us some intel on our target. Oh, he's, he's, he's got beard. He smokes. He smokes like a fucking chimney. I don't know. Trev, maybe one more time? Just to be sure. No, please, no. Huh? I told you, he smokes. That's all I know. One more time. You are serious, man. What if you get it wrong? Say this. Torturer. I got blood in my mouth. My mouth. I, I would drown. I would drown. Oh, say this. Torturer. It's all in your head, Ferdinand! Don't worry! I don't see what all the fuss is about, Ferdinand. 
rule. Always by the book. That's my vibe. Alone! Alone! Don't Look at me. I am a genuine government man. It's all in your head, Ferdinand. Don't worry. <laughs> I don't see what all the fuss is about personally. Always by the book. That's my vibe. Look at me. I am a genuine government man. Let's get him upright. I'm alive. I'm alive. Today's lesson is about government regulation. Lesson? This is meaningless. <laughs> Mr. K. <laughs> Mr. K. I don't know anything, please. <laughs> okay. He chain smokes. And he's left handed. What's that? He chain smokes. And he's left handed. Ah, okay. <laughs> In these bearded guys at the party smoke cigarettes, Mr. K says he smokes like a pack of two a day. Red with cigarettes? Thank you, Mr. K. Steve's telling me he chain smokes redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left-handed. I'm telling you to assassinate a guy because he's a threat to national security. The rest's details. Michael, what the fuck is wrong with you? What, I had my eyes on a target. Listen, anyone in that joint's got as much chance of being a threat to national security as the next guy. Steve, it's blown. 